aravuga ngo igihe gikwiriye cyo gusanwa kw'inkike cyangwa se inkuta cyasohoye kirageze The main theme of our teaching is the right time to rebuild the wall has come Igihe gikwiriye cyo gusanwa kw'inkuta cyageze The right time to, for the walls to be rebuilt has come Musi yaho kabaho umutwe wa magambo uvuga ngo gusanwa kwa marembo And the subtitle is the restoration of your gates Twavuze yuko Israeli ya mumugabane w'Imana nk'abana b'Imana We say that Israel as an heritage from God bagize ibibazo byinshi mu kutumvira Imana mu rugendo rwabo They face many struggles as a result of rebelling against God in their journey Kimwe mu bibazo babanje kugira babanje kuba mbere yuko baba nishyanga mbere Imana ibategura bagitegurwa bagiye bagiye mu gihugu cy'a Misiri bamara imyaka myinshi 430 bari mu bubata When they were still in preparation one of the challenges they faced they first had to go to Egypt and they spent there 430 years in slavery. Kuva mu bubata byari byari byoroshye. To come out of slavery was easy. Kuko ntago bari babwishimiye. Because they were not comfortable with the idea. They were beaten. Bari banzwe. They were hated. They were done slavery works. So they felt tired. Ariko bajyanwa i Babylon. But when they were taken to Babylon, byari bitandukanye. Slavery na captivity ni ibintu bibiri bitandukanye. It was very different. Now it was slavery versus captivity. Uko none bageze i Babylon nta kintu babakozeho. Because when they got to Babylon nothing was done unto them. They just left them and they joined schools. They joined schools and they joined schools. That's the time the king Nebuchadnezzar st- sent his steward to go among the Israelites and to select those who are more knowledgeable the elites they had seven criteria w- w- on which they were best to select those are Israelites so they went to school they went they even joined the entire citizenship of the Babylon city Even afterwards it was like a miracle when the kingdom of babylon was removed from 626 to 638 the babylonians were on the reign but after that the persian came and reigned in their state So the king Darius and the king Cyrus were replacing one another. When you read the, cha- the, the second chapter of Daniel, you find a statue so meaning this one hand was the hand of Darius, the other hand was the hand of Cyrus. Mm-hmm. That's why we should pay attention to the book of Daniel. Imagine someone who served four kingdomships. He served Nebuchadnezzar. He served Belshazzar. He served Cyrus and Darius. Bariyo rero kugeza nubwo muri ko Esther yaje gushaka ari umwami kazi kandi ari umuyahudi kazi kuko bo bari bemerewe kugeza ubwo bashingiranwa nabami bamera neza ibintu byari bimeze neza. So it even reached a point when Esther even though she was a foreign into the land she got married and she became a queen so it was like they were even allowed to be enthroned in a foreign land Abanga muri theology banavuga yuko usomye ku gice cya kabiri cyane yemeye umurongo wa gatandatu haravuga aramagambo avuga ngo reka tuwasome umwami yari yicaranye n'umwami kazi arambaza ati urugendo rwawe ruzaba iminsi ngahe kandi uzagaruka ryari ndumva ngo uyu mwami bakeka yuko uyu mwami kazi uvugwa hangaha ari Esther wari wicira ruhande rwa Nehemia bari abantu bazanya aba Yahudi bombi baganira umwami kazi yararaho hangaho abahanga muri bibiri bavuga bakeka yuko ashaka kuba Esther So when you even read the second chapter of Nehemiah verse six, then the king with the queen city beside him asked me how long will your journey take and will, when will you get back so it was like they were allowed to go and to come back as they wished Bararyoha kugizwa abantu nkabane Nehemia babona kazi bwami bahereza vino no no 
bibagirwa n'ubuhanuzi bare barahanurirwe ko nyuma y'imyaka 20 bazasubira iwabo barabyibagirwa kire ku muntu umwe gusa Daniel wahagurutse ngo arasoma ari gusoma abona yuko igihe cyageze kugira ngo babashe gusubira iwabo Yerusalemu yera yarasenyutse urusengero bararusenye baratwaye ibikoresho bya rimindani babijyane baburoni murabyibuka neza icyo gihe habura umuntu wongera gusoma Daniel arabibona twavuze yuko abantu imana ikunda gukoresha abantu baze n'imindura amatwara kimana ibintu byayo irabyandika bikira hano ariko abantu basoma umuntu udasoma kujya mu cyongeza avuga ngo a good reader is a good Daniel arabimenya ahita gye imbere y'Imana Imana imubwira gahunda mwibwira ati nibyo koko mu gihe gusubira iwanye Daniel knew about it and said God now it is time and God confirmed it said really indeed it is time for you to go back home Bene data kubisoma biroroshye ari kubibayemo ni gubyo ntago byari byoroshye kuvana hano warumenyereye ntukubitwa abana bawe bariga umeze neza aho cyangwa ugiye gusubira iwanyu mu rwego rw'urasenyutse kongera kubaka kuki umuntu atakomereza aha ngaha ntago byari byoroshye when you read it you can find it easy and very comfortable but, but when you leave the situation as it was can you imagine getting you out of a comfortable zone and telling you you're back you're going back to your homeland you're not stricken you're not beaten you're not even hungry or thirsty but they tell you go back to your homeland arano bare bibazo biri mu nzu y'Imana there are people who watch the issues we have in the house of God. Right, so there are people who say I'm not concerned about this. I don't want to have any issue with anyone. I will never even enjoy the family. So those things to go and rebuild the gates, rebuild the gates. I don't want. I'm not concerned. So you will bear with me. I will talk about the church and Africa at the same time. There are even some other people there in Western countries, and when they think about Africa, they say, I will never go back to Africa. What I saw, what I faced in Africa is enough. So take these crops, I will be sending crops, and we'll be gaining profit from those crops. But for me, there are others who are called to live in Africa, not me. When God wants to rebuild Jerusalem, he sent three categories of people. The first category were led by a man called Zerubbabel. He was with 50,000 men. And the mission of Zerubbabel was to go and rebuild the temple of God. The temple had to be rebuilt, had to be restored, and had to be installed into the city, into the Zerubbabel went and was done with his work. Because Zerubbabel went and was done with his work. Yet it was not easy to rebuild the temple. That's when you find a Haggai coming on the scene. Even though Haggai is put among the minor prophets, but it was in the same time with Ezra, with Zerubbabel. So that's why Haggai said, come and let's rebuild again the temple of God. Haggai told them, if you don't build the temple of God, if you don't restore the temple of God, you will never have any breakthrough in your life. So they were done with the job. The mission of Zerubbabel came to an end. So he raised another man called Ezra. Because Yes, yes, pass, pass. 
Kwa mkuzi mwana wana bari vajira na neza neza. Nuhu menye kumungachira kum, kum, nuhu mkuze wawe. Nuhu menye kumutanduka na nuhu no, mkuzi wimana. Nuhu mkuze wawe aliko he is set apart. Ni evangelist aliko yeshi ziba kuruhande. Ni nunga aliko yeshi ziba kuruhande. Nuhu mwenye re yere. Uyu tamenye jeye chogu china ni jeye chitari chogu china. Mm -hmm. Anga sinza kuhare ngao. Yes ashimu. Praise the Lord. Iyo abana ba menyele ya babje ibabu baka ba menyele ya wakasa nga. Mare mbo rekukwa mare mbo yosele ya fatanye eh, izi nghiche zezi fatanye na mare mbo jia tandu kanya. Mare mbo arenga itumi. Aliko yone hemi ya fuganga hani itumi. Ire mbo jambere na gondi soba nula. Jari ire mbo jina hama ne hemi ya gata tumurongo ambere. Tukwa buzo kwa ire ari mbo li soba nula. Ubu mana baka Yesu Christo wano wakumba kumenye Yesu Christo. Baka mumenye nghi imana. Baka mumenye nghi ufutu ushobozi. Imani jia kuzano bubjuti. Ibanza guhe mbo na Yesu mubuzima bukachu. Yohana mubo na yalabi mubo na yalabi fukaneza Atireba ndawa unu mga na winama Ukula hibda habja bali mngisi Ya mubo nye mga na winama Kukwere hanuwe yuko zaza aru mga na winama Irire mbo rikina hama Yesu agomba gusanu wa mulitu kwebge Hitu mumenye nga informasyon Tu mumenye murujo buka ido Tuka mumenye murujo buka ginesko Tukwa rabi soba anu Irire mbo rikia sanu na yeri ya shibu Risanu wanu mutambji mukuru Afata nijena bandeba tamji Ima nijia kwa guruti juhugu Aba nubambere hamagara Na aba kwa zivi imana Nilichila mire mbo rikia yesu kristo Kuja ngo baze baba mazishi mga jimana Iyo eri ya shibu ashijichiwe Na aba tamji wa kora na nawe Iji ugu chinja mo mavuta da sanzu Rimge zare ta muna afrika Zimge muri government muna afrika Di hinduru burjo Perception yawa kuwinu bijanye ni imana Baka baka hindura Baka 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 tangi chuwa hiro Baga haga chi Rire mbori jaga tano Rire mbori ne hemea Ibeche vita tumurongu wa chume na kane Nire mbori ju munganda Buri jie mbori sere yeri Bafa tagu munganda Baka ushira hamge Baka hawa gisu kida sanzge Hali kujate rogu ganechi Hali ho sisteme yogu kubura Buri monsi Banji zi mnyanda baka yirunda Baka yichisha mngire mbori Jaba gamo majepfo Rika jenda baka litu kuika Awa hano hahura gumuri ruta zimu Ije yeso yafuga Aba nubaza jamuri jie nomo Chari chiba ya chahi nomo Yafuga jihora jaka Kukumuri wahora gawa Ata angarelo ya tanga ni France Yomuri cho chiba ya kukone watu kutila gimi nyanda ya buri monsi Bisha siku fugichi Ire mbori jumu nganda Ni ire mbori jo kui hana Ni ire mbori ya repentance Buri monsi tuwa ni vini vida kuiri Tukumfa majugu wada kuiri Nima vumura gomba kurija ama maze kusenga Ama maze kwezwa kujira ngu mganda wa mnuzi ya mo Uwonje rusoho ke mngizi na rija yesu The dung gate was a gate on which they would pass All the dirtiness, all the garbage, all the rubbish they had in the city By the way, Jerusalem was a very clean city When Jesus said, whoever does not believe in me will go to the Gehenom The Gehenom was a picture of the valley of Hinnom Hinnom meaning a deep and narrow ravine separating my zone Meaning that they could take all the rubbish Pulling it into the, the dung gate Meaning that every day you have to repent You have to cleanse yourself You have to, to purify yourself the third gate was in Nehemiah chapter 3 verse 16. This gate was repaired by Joada son of our our past, our failures, our mistakes. Nubuzima tukwaba yemo chera. Irire mbori gomba gusanwa. Uka menya kuyimu unani mune Yesu Kristo. Awa waitare mwejisha. Ibjache lewe abishizi. Amen. This old gate means the former things, the past things, the, the failures we had, the weaknesses we had. But you have to know that when someone is in Jesus Christ, he has become a new creation. Bibiria ila fuga muri ya seme na ngunena gata tuchumini munane chumini chenda. Hala magambo afuga ngo. Ibjachera ni mubjibuke. Kandi ibjashize nge kubjitaho. Dole njie kukwari chinu jisha. Ubu chijie kwa duka ni muza chimenya. Sema amena. Isaiah says, see the former things I have already passed them. Now I am about to do a new thing with not perceive it. There are people who got saved. But they have a history. There are mistakes they did. There are sins you did. We all we sinned and came short from the Lord. When you don't understand, you are new in Christ. You, are, you, all, you always explain yourself to people. What they say about you? How they, they know you? Are you? What I know? No. There are new eyes God is looking you from. God does not look at you from your history. You have been forgiven. You are in the bosom of God. The old God has to be restored. Don't explain yourself. Don't be apologetic. Don't apologize. The old gate. Abanu baba mgini mbori jachera. Bahora mumateka ya chera. Biso wanuna. Referanse. Ali ibjoba koze. Bahora bahora ninteje nye. 
People who, still, who are still on the go all the they are still in the former mistake they did, and they always explain about the former mistakes they did. They are like the wife of Lot. She turned behind and she became a statue of salt. The one who is always on the, uh, on the history, when they walk behind, they hit something. Your, your future is very good. Amen. Say amen. Your future is we very good. Don't look at yourself in the mirror of the history. Don't look at yourself in your, in your old mistakes. I gave you an example of refugees when they come back to Rwanda. He, he takes you to a private place. What is Trophy Pro? Can you take me to Provia? No way, Nakumat has come. They know that we have Simba Supermarket. We are still in the former thing. There are some people who know you by your history. They have new things. Amen. Amen. The other house Eco Bank is in. That's why we got our provisional driving license. There are all the houses. In Berea, we had a kiosk. Opposite, there was a kiosk. People. People would go and throw their garbage. Time came. Time came and now look at Say the amen. Say amen. People know you in kiosk. People know you as a scholar. People know you as someone who calls. People know you as a prostitute. What's over? Come to an end. You have been forgiven. The, the gate has been restored. You have a future. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Say amen. The devil condemns your past. The devil troubles your present. And the devil threatens your future. But my God, my God, my God defends your past. And God confirms your presence. And he protects your future. Hallelujah. Your future is very different. These are two different extremes. There is minus and there is plus. Your past is in minus. And your future is in plus. That's why Paul said, I forget what is behind. I forget what is behind. To cross what is ahead. Say amen. Say amen. Satan has to go over. Satan is scared. He's afraid of Rwanda. Forget the history we faced. Forgive one another and forget. Please hug your neighbor and tell them forget. The sixth gate is the gate, the water gate we can find in Nehemiah 3.26 meaning the gate, the water gate is the word of God. The word of God has to flow everywhere constantly in the house of God. This gate is very essential in our life for Jesus to manifest himself again into his word. The eighth gate is the host gate. You can find it in Nehemiah 3.28. This is the 
The host means victory. The host means triumph in the Bible. Abizeri man abagomba kunesha. Ibya kunesha ga nufango harimi kitu shau kubwa na mudi utariwa nesh. The believers have to overcome. There are things you will never achieve if you have not yet overcome. Harimi no bibiri ya ifuga isawa nura mubya hishuwe ibya hishuwe ibiche bibiri rekam bifuge vua vua ibi no bibiri nugima na yandi chie ibi kama torero ibi kira itoro ya Efeso Simuruna Perugamo tuatira Sarudi Philadelphia nelo dokiya ngo une shanza ma kujia kumbuto zigiti chibujingo chini muri paradiso imana ibi kira Simuruna ngo une sha na chaza tuwa kwa nufu gua kabiri ibi kira Perugamo une shanza ma kuri mano ya hishuwe mui mui ni wuyerjera tena kwa hizi narisha hitaji kuna mnuwe sekele suri habga ibi kira tuatira Unesha akitondera imirimo yanjye akageza kumeruka nzamo ubutware bwo gutwara mahanga yose sema amena ibwira Sarudi unesha nuzambika imyenda yera kandi sinzahana kuri zina rye nato mu gitabo cy'ubugingo ibwira Philadelphia unesha nzamugira inkinja mu rusengero rw'Imana yanjye wabuze ngo amena nawo dokia unesha nzamo akwicana nange kunebe yanjye y'ubwami wabuze ngo amena nkuko nange nanesheje hicarana na data kuntebeye Vulongo mwami Yesu. Say Lord Jesus. Mwami Yesu. Lord Jesus. Ngomba kunesha. I have to overcome. Hari byantsindaga. There are things who overcame me. Hari umujinya wantsindaga. There is anger who overcame me. Hari ubwoba bwantsindaga. He had defeated me. Hari farashi mbonye. There is a horse I got. Hari farashi je. There is a horse coming. Mbabere muhagarare turarangira umagara. Stand up we are closing. Kwatura ya magambo. As we confess these words. Akubere Caesar no ni man. There is a covenant we are making with God. Hari breakthrough. There is a breakthrough. Hari breakthrough udashaka kubona mu buzima bwawe. There is a breakthrough we never seen in your life. Utari wanesha. Until you overcome. 